Hi folks, this is Red We Met coming to you with another bedtime story. First of all, I want to make something very clear. Uh, you may see me wearing a lot of these shirts and think it's the same one, but it's not. I, <laughs> I ordered uh, a box of them on eBay <laughs> and I like them, they keep me warm. But anyway, I was talking to Mike Peterson and uh, Mike ordered a book for me and I shipped it today. Today's the 15th of uh, uh, March, uh, 2017. At any rate, uh, I was talking, he was a dealer out in Vegas, a, a gamer, and uh, I talked to him about it. He went out there in 78. He's a, just a tad younger than I am. But uh, at any rate, uh, I had a very interesting experience. I, I hope you enjoyed the story. But I, uh, it was... Uh, I was staying at the Stardust, and they sent a limo over to me for me to go to a show at the Riviera, and it was Don Rickles that was playing at the show, and so I went backstage. Uh, a lot of people asked me, "Well, did you meet Sinatra?" No, I never met Sinatra, but uh, Don was back there, and I got a chance to talk to him. And Don is Don Rickles is exactly on stage or off stage. He's himself. That's Don Rickles. I mean, he, he just, he's type, I don't know, he, I call him typecasted. But anyway, uh, we talked and uh, he made some jokes and we laughed and I felt very comfortable with him. Very, very comfortable. And so uh, after his show was about to start and everything, and so I was escorted down and out and around and they had these uh, theater ropes where people would wait to get in with their tickets. Well, I was comped, and uh, these two guys that I didn't know, they were rather large <laughs> uh, men, uh, they pulled up the rope and they just let me walk by. Well, unsuspectingly, Sylvester Stallone was there and he gave me a look and he said, who the F is that? <laughs> you know, he's a celebrity, right? So uh, we didn't pay any attention to him and it got worse. <laughs> I get down to, uh, in the showroom, there's nobody in there yet, and I get down to the showroom and they roll out a table for me. And it's a high booth, high back table, and they plug in a little uh, lamp and uh, a telephone. And uh, later on, somewhere off to my left, uh, you can see in a front row table was Stallone and his date. <laughs> But anyway, uh, I, uh, it's very funny to me. Uh, you might not get a big kick out of it. You had to be there to appreciate it. But uh, I was going on with the show, and, or watching the show, and Rickles was doing his number, and uh, I learned a big lesson. You never heckle anybody on the stage. He had said something. I don't know what it was. And I said something loud back to him. And he turned around and he pointed at the audience and he said, you, 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 down there, you. He says, what do you think, you're a comedian? Put the, put the spotlight on him, put the spotlight on him. And so they put the spotlight on me. Well, that was embarrassing enough. And he said, what do you think, you're a comedian or something? He said, come on, get up here, get up here. And they, uh, one guy came over and he walked me to the stairway on the side. Well, a lot of people don't realize it if you haven't been there. The stage is very high. It's way up in the air, maybe 10 feet or better. And so I climb up the stage. It's dark in the room, and the spotlight is on me. And I go out, and we're right next to each other. Well, he's got the mic. And so when he talks to you, he says something funny. And when you try to say, I'm sorry, or whatever, he pulls the mic away. And he says, yeah, right. <laughs> you know, It was very funny. And so... It got funnier because he said, oh, oh, he's going to be your chauffeur tonight. And he said, here. And he put the mic on the floor and walked off the stage and left the spotlight on me on the stage. I'm looking out. I can't see the audience. The floodlights are in my way. It was so funny to me. I, I had a kink in my cheek from laughing. And finally, they took mercy on me, brought me off the stage. And he says, how do you like show business? And I didn't say one word. After the show, he came up to me, he said, did you enjoy yourself? And I said, that was the worst experience I ever had in my life. <laughs> but anyway, 
There are some funny things that happened to me, and I thought that was funny. I thought I'd share it with you. And by the way, um, I wrote a book. It's called, Mike bought a copy today, and it's called uh, Nobody Cares and What I Did About It, The Red We Met Story. And it's available at redwemet.com in an autographed edition. If you want to buy it or order it on CreateSpace, or if you want to order it on Amazon.com, you can, but they won't be autographed. I'll autograph one directly to you if you like. Uh, I don't know what to tell you folks, except I hope you enjoyed the story. God bless you, and have a great night.